Hello everyone, it's Nimit. Today I'll be telling you about some of the tips that I used when I was studying for my car section that helped me get my score up by six points in a matter of two months. People say that cars is an innate skill and it takes months and months of preparation to change. But I'm here to tell you that that's absolutely not the case. We are all examples of that. When it comes to the car section, the first thing that comes to mind is timing. Now, timing is one of the major problems that students encounter because you're supposed to finish the passage in 10 minutes. You have nine passages and you have 90 minutes in total to finish the entire section. I would actually recommend aiming for eight minutes in your practice sessions. This is because on the actual MCAT, you will encounter some passages that are a lot harder than the other passages. This way, this will give you a lot more time for the harder passages on the actual MCAT. So yes, you should be spending eight minutes per passage, but how do you break that down? How much time are you supposed to spend on the passage? How much time are you supposed to spend on the questions? These are all really good questions and we have three strategies that you can look at and we'll list them now. The first strategy involves you reading the passage for three minutes and then answering the questions for five minutes. This will ensure that you get enough time to confirm your answers if you're unsure about any of them. The second strategy involves an even split, four minutes for answering questions and four minutes for reading. This way, you'll have a balanced amount of time that you're spending on both aspects. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. The last strategy is where you spend five minutes reading the passage and three minutes answering the question. This can actually vary a little because some passages have five questions, some of them have seven questions, but I'd say this is probably the best strategy because if you can understand the passage the most well and the best you can, then you're going to have a much easier time actually doing the questions. Therefore, I personally recommend this as this is what I used on my MCAT. The other most common mistake that students make is not building up the endurance to do nine passages in one sitting. Now you might be able to do three or four passages and get good scores or even five or six, but getting up to the nine passages mark is very hard to do. I have three approaches that you could take to improve your endurance for cars. One would be to take a full length that has a car section in it, so you'll be able to encounter the nine passages in 90 minutes. But the downside of this is that you'll have to spend an entire day out of your schedule to do the full length. The second approach would be to just take the car section. You could do that through Jack Weston. And the third approach would be to just increase the daily passages that you do every single day. Uh, you could do that weekly. So for example, if you do three passages every single day for one week, in the second week you could do four passages or five passages every single day. Something else I'd like to add is that when you're doing a cars passage, you might have noticed that there are two definitely wrong answers. So my tip is to really identify those two answers as quickly as possible and eliminate them because this brings your probability from getting the answer right to about one quarter to one half. And this is a massive jump. Yes, 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 yes. I found that this tip was especially useful for me while I was doing the passage. But what do you do when you're stuck between two options and you just don't know which one's right? This is something that happens very commonly on the MCAT and you need to have a sound strategy to actually combat this. So what I would do generally is I would try to find support for each point first in the passage. And once I try to find this, I can have some sort of inkling towards where I should be going. And then I would look at how it relates to the main idea and whether the author would support this because those are ways you can really compare these options and that's the way you can use that criteria to get the right answer. Now one tip I heard a lot about when I was studying for cars is read the passage first and not the question. Uh, it should never be the other way around. This is because if you read the question first you might not be able to understand what the author is actually trying to say. So make sure you get a good grasp of what the author is trying to say first before you move into the questions. One of the biggest mistakes I see pre-meds making all the time is that they try to use their prior knowledge to answer these questions. And that's a huge mistake. Write that down, write that down! For example, if you have some prior knowledge on World War II, let's say, and there's a question about World War II and you try to bring in your knowledge from before, there's a high chance that you're going to get it wrong. You need to make sure that you leave that knowledge outside of the MCAT and focus on just what the passage is telling you. This is how you're going to get the best marks. Now we all know that distractions are a huge problem for the MCAT, 
but it's especially detrimental to the car section. Oftentimes, I'd find myself dozing off and thinking about other things when I'm supposed to be reading the passage, and then I'd have to read the passage again and then the question again. This would all waste a lot of time. So a strategy that I use to save my time and save myself from dozing off would be that I would read each passage like it's my favorite piece of writing. I'd put on an enthusiastic tone when I'm reading the passage to ensure that I stay focused and I actually understand what the author is trying to say. So these are all short-term tips to increase your car score, but is there something you can be doing on a daily and consistent basis to bring that car score up even more? Well, of course there is. One way is to start reading different types of literature that are challenging for you to understand or that you're not comfortable with. This can be Shakespeare, ethics textbooks, newspapers, whatever it may be. And these are really important because CARS is an exam where there are multiple different passages from many different topics like philosophy, literature. So it's really, really important that you do this and you get comfortable with those multiple different types of passages. Lastly, going through a dictionary or a thesaurus occasionally will help you increase your vocabulary and this will also help you better understand passages because there will be some words that you don't know and there will be questions that you won't be able to understand because you don't know the meaning of some words. So this will definitely help you get a better score on your car section. And that's it for the video. We hope you found these tips super helpful and if any of them especially stood out to you, be sure to mention it in the comment section below. Be sure to like and subscribe for future videos and see you next time.